As I record this video, it's December 1st, which means we've officially hit the Christmas season. If you haven't already, you're going to start hearing Christmas carols on the radio or in the stores. You might have little kids inviting you to their Christmas plays or their Christmas concerts. You may have people sending you Christmas cards. Um, and to tell you the truth, I think that's a good thing. Even if people don't completely understand or follow, at least nominally, once a year, the world still acknowledges the fact that Christ was born, that he came here to do something. One of the things that we hear around this time of year, too, is the phrase, peace on earth. People understand, and again, not fully, but they understand that part of Christ's coming to the earth, part of his mission was to bring peace. And peace is something we all need right now. It's a word that is very popular because much of our lives and much of life around us is unpeaceful at the moment. Interestingly, as we've been going through Philippians, uh, preaching through the chapters, we're now in chapter 4, and the next three paragraphs talk about peace. The paragraph we're going to look at this week talks about peace in our relationships. Uh, the paragraph after that, that we will look at next week, talks about peace in our thinking. And then the last paragraph talks about peace in our everyday lives, in our normal activities. The peace of Christ is a phrase that comes up uh, again and again in this section of Philippians. And so what I've decided to do is make a little sermon series out of it. And we're going to call the entire thing Peace on Earth, Finding Christ's Blessings in Relationships, Thoughts, and Everyday Life. This week's is Relationships. There's a problem in the, in the church in Philippi. A couple of ladies in that church, a couple of very good ladies, are not seeing eye to eye. And so the Apostle Paul does something really dramatic with that. He does something quite unexpected, but it is actually the right thing to do, and it is actually really helpful. This week, we will learn to handle conflict from uh, the Apostle Paul's point of view. We will use his situation to learn some principles about handling conflict, because here's the interesting thing. Most people have never been taught how to do it. We've been taught a lot of different things, but we've never been taught how to handle conflict conflict. So this week, we will do so. The sermon is called, Peace on Earth, Finding Christ's Blessings in Your Relationships. In our Bible study, we are in 1 Samuel chapter 28, and it is one of the most interesting chapters in the entire book. Uh, in this section of scripture, Saul has become even more desperate. He needs to hear it from the Lord. He wants some direction, but he has cut himself off from God. And so he does something that is almost unthinkable. He goes to what the Bible calls a witch or a medium to try and raise Samuel from the dead so he can talk to him. It is a bizarre story, but it brings up lots of really interesting things. It'll, it'll create a very interesting conversation about the afterlife and what happens after we die. And we may not nail all that down exactly, but we're going to have an interesting discussion. 1 Samuel chapter 28 is called, Which Road Will You Choose? Get it? Which? Never mind. This is the first Sunday, too, that we're going to start back to having noon lunches. And so um, we're going to invite you to bring enough food for your family and one other family. Uh, just so that we have lots and so we can invite visitors to stay if they didn't know about it. Again, for those who haven't been around a lot, um, don't go crazy. It's really what we need are simple things like sandwiches, maybe soups maybe a little bit of dessert, uh, some vegetables. It doesn't need to be uh, a burdensome thing. What we're trying to do is just provide an opportunity to uh, hang around together, to visit and to fellowship and, uh, and connect in another way uh, besides just in worship. So 
Uh, noon lunches will start this Sunday and they will continue until probably the end of April or so. And so, um, again, bring enough to share and make plans to stay. That would be great. We'll see you Sunday.